Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Today is another very exciting day. We are driving down to Miami today to set sail on the Disney Magic. We are setting sail on a five night cruise with two stops at Castaway Key. A double dip cruise guys. I am beyond excited for this. Let's go ahead get all of our stuff in the car and begin our five hour drive to head on over to Miami and board the Disney Magic. <music> We just got to the drop-off area where I assume we drop off our bags because I see uh, bags over here in different locations. But it is just crazy because you have everyone who is getting off the ship trying to pick up a ride. And then you have everyone who is coming on trying to drop off bags. It is... Uh it's, it's insane. Okay, so we just got to the cruise terminal. We're at Terminal C right now. Things are just absolutely crazy, so just be prepared for that. There's a long stretch of sidewalk where you have people that are dropping off and also being picked up. I would recommend stopping further on back towards the very start because I think that's more of where you drop off your bags and everyone else that you're dropping off and further up closer to the front is where you're picking up and that's where everyone's trying to pick up their ride shares and and I, I don't know what it's just a lot of people yelling a lot of the workers here that are yelling and trying to direct traffic and it is just an absolute nightmare so just definitely be prepared for that definitely make sure you have your cash on hand for tipping the porters and just be ready for craziness because it is definitely crazy and we're just trying to get out of here and trying to make it over to the garage right now so that we can pay for parking and actually get inside so just make sure you have some extra time set aside for that because it's nuts all right so here's the situation we finally got ourselves parked we're sitting right in front of the carnival conquest i believe this is the carnival conquest and uh this is terminal d parking you can't park in terminal c you have to come all the way down there were signs that said terminals C, or was it A through D? It was, yeah, it was terminals A through D parking, but nothing said Disney. So we parked in the first available parking garage there was, which was terminal D, which is directly next to the Disney ship, which is right there. So things are really confusing. This is my first time here. I heard this place was a nightmare, and yeah, this place is an absolute nightmare. So just be prepared for that. And so now we need to walk that way down to the Disney Magic. Shouldn't be too long of a walk. Also, because I know some people are going to ask, the parking garage that we parked in, $22 a night. Good to know. Alrighty, where are we going from here? I see a sign that says check-in, but I also see COVID testing. We go this way. Okay. Doing well, how are you? Yes, two of us. Thank you. Put date and uh, name and date of birth, okay? Name and date of birth. Going yes. that way? Yes, follow All right. the line. Thank you. It should also be noted that while you are inside the terminal and in the COVID testing area, you do not have to wear a mask. They're definitely not enforcing it, so I don't know what the rule is. There's definitely a lot of people who aren't wearing masks. Hello! <laughs> but we are just choosing to wear a mask just until we get past the COVID testing part, and then we will feel safe and the mask will go off and be free. So we are next in line, and we just got to wait to go into one of these testing stations. They have a bunch of testing stations located around the terminal over here. We have some down there as well. 
well. You wait your turn, they'll call you over, you get tested, and then you head on upstairs. All right, just got done with our COVID test. They're handing it off to the person right now to get it tested, and to the ship we go. All right, boarding C. This is the guest waiting area, and now the hard part begins. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. Nice large space up here, and plenty of room to sit. Everyone's just on their phones, anxiously refreshing, trying to figure out if they are clear to sail or not. On a normal occasion, these TVs would display the reservation numbers of people who are clear to sail and who isn't. So it uh, doesn't look like it's working right now, but we can always use our phones. Well, you know, I guess at this point, the mask doesn't matter. It's in God's hands now. One thing I want you guys to know is that there is Wi-Fi here inside the building guest at Port of Miami. It is free. I know that my cell signal is not the best inside this building, so this Wi-Fi is definitely good to have so we can check and see if we are clear to sail. One thing that is really nice is that Disney has changed over from an antigen test over to a PCR test, so the results should be coming in much faster than before. Before, you would have to wait about 40 minutes for your results, and now it shouldn't take more than 20, so hopefully we won't be here very long. All right, not even 15 minutes later, we got the clear to sail on safe passage. So let's not waste any more time, guys. Let's get on the ship. I love that you get the COVID results so quickly. It is amazing. I love it. So another thing to know, once you get the clear to sail, they scan you in and you have to come in over here and actually talk to one of these cast members over here and you have to actually check in. They're going to give you a little card and that is the card that you actually show to get onto the ship. So you can't just bypass all this. You have to talk to someone over here. Everyone on this side of the terminal has been cleared to sail. We we are just now waiting for everyone to get on the ship. We're waiting for our group to be called. They're on one through four right now. We're group number seven. Won't be much longer. I should also note that Nugget is along for the ride as well. He's hanging in there as best as he can. One through seven, that's us, let's go. And take a look at that guys, the ship is right here, the Disney Magic. The one ship that I have been missing from my Disney Cruise roster. Prior to getting on board the ship, you do have several welcome aboard picture locations in case you guys are interested. Coda and I already have some of those from when we boarded the Dream in literally the same outfits. So <laughs> I don't think it's gonna make a difference for this one except it's just gonna say Disney Magic down on the bottom. Oh well, Coda does have the new ears. But anyways, there are plenty of other pictures that we're gonna be taking on board the ship. Let's just go guys, we're too excited. I'm hungry. And Coda's hungry. <laughs> and bon voyage, time to head on board the ship. Now that we're actually getting on board the ship and the whole check-in process is done, I gotta say, the most hectic part of Port of Miami was actually trying to get your bags uh, dropped off with a porter, trying to find a place to park. It's just all really crazy. So just be prepared for that, but once you're done and you're parked and you're actually inside the actual terminal checking in it's a very smooth and easy process a lot of cast members out there to help you out with everything so don't let the you know actual dropping off and parking process discourage you or ruin your day because once you're in the disney bubble smooth sailing pun intended <laughs> We made it! <laughs> Hello, Mickey! <laughs> oh my gosh. This ship is so tiny compared to the dream. <laughs> Hello. All right, hello. All right, let's go ahead and head up one deck and do our muster drill. We gotta check into our station, which is K. So K is further down there. You know, we're getting really good at checking in for our mandatory safety trail. That wasn't even two minutes. <laughs> All right, so now the question is, where are we gonna eat? Where do you wanna go? We have Rapunzel's or Cabana's? I'm leaning more towards Rapunzel's. Okay. Rapunzel's? Sure. All right, let's go. We just gotta find it. <laughs> I just wanna get another look at this atrium real quick. Look at that. It is not large at all. We have Mickey on the staircase over there. We have Sailor Mickey down here as the statue. Wow. So what do you think? This is definitely a lot smaller than the Dream, which is the only ship that you're familiar with. First time on a smaller ship. What do you think? <laughs> it's small. <laughs> you see, everything is very familiar, but also very different at the same time. The layouts are so flipping different. Hello. <laughs> 
we have Triton's over here, which is open right now for a concierge lunch. So we're gonna be heading on down to Rapunzel's, which is just a little bit further on down. If you're very familiar with the Disney dream or the Disney fantasy, Rapunzel's is taking the place of Animator's Palette. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our first time heading on into Rapunzel's Royal Table. We're actually gonna be eating here tonight as well, and it says Rapunzel's birthday celebration. I am extremely impressed with the details in this restaurant. I love all the suns that are everywhere, the lanterns. You have a dessert cart over here as well. <laughs> How adorable is that? We found a little Pascal right by the check-in desk. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have lines in the videos for days. The lighting in here is not matching up with the frame rate of the camera, but it's fine. Just take a look at the details on this little bread plate. I love that with the golden flower. Well, Coda's thoroughly entertained now that she knows that there are hidden Pascals. We found two, now we're just missing one. So Coda's probably gonna have to walk around the restaurant a little bit, because I'm sure this last one is not gonna be directly near us. All right, so the lunch menu is located on the app. Let's go ahead and scan that and see what we got. Okay, so on the menu for lunch today, we have sliced smoked salmon, beef empanadas, and a mixed salad for appetizers. From the kettle, they have seafood and chicken gumbo soup with cornbread, also a leek and potato soup with soda bread. For an entree, we have a pinette pasta, grilled salmon salad, muffaletta sandwich, chicken Caesar salad, and sliced roasted beef tenderloin. Sorry, sirloin. And for desserts, we have a cookies and cream cheesecake, a carrot cake, and a welcome aboard sundae. All right, so they just brought out the bread. I just want to show you guys the details on this basket that we have over here. Take a look at that. We're Punzel and Flynn on the boat. They're dancing. We have just Rapunzel. Looks like Rapunzel in her tower. This is so cool. I like this. I wish I could take this home, but I can't. That would be stealing. All right, our appetizers are here. I have the beef empanada, and I also got the smoked salmon to try as well. As someone who goes to Walt Disney World a lot and spends a lot of time at the Magic Kingdom, I appreciate the ambient music that they have here in the background. It's the same music loop that they have by the Tangled Toilets at Magic Kingdom. Once you hear it, you recognize it and you can't unhear it. I feel like I'm at the Magic Kingdom right now. It's awesome. And for our soup course, we have the leek and potato soup. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Our main course has arrived, the beef sirloin. Oh my god, it looks and smells absolutely delicious. We have a baked potato here as well. And take a look at the details on the plate. It's Rapunzel's Tower. That is so cute. I love these plates, man. I want them. Disney should sell these. Well, we're starting off the cruise real strong. I already have to button this up because I dropped some of the some of the sauce on my white undershirt. So now I have a nice brown stain on my on my shirt. So starting off real nice, guys. But other than that, the food has been really good. Just finished off the steak on my plate, and it was really good. <laughs> no complaints from any of the food that I've gotten so far. I really like this painting on the back wall of the King, Queen, and Rapunzel embracing with the lanterns in the background. It's really nice, it's got the paintbrushes and everything there too. And for dessert to end things off, I got the Oreo cheesecake. And Koda, what did you get? <laughs> Mickey bars. <laughs> you can always get them basically whenever you want on this ship, it's awesome. All right, first successful lunch of the cruise is in the books. We'll be back here in about nah, four hours or so, four and a half hours. We'll be back here at about 5.45 to be having dinner, so won't be long. And now that it is just after 1.30, our staterooms should be ready. So let's head on upstairs and check them out. So what'd you just say about the elevator? 12 people? <laughs> <laughs> You can, there is no shot. There is not a chance that you can fit 12 people in here. There's no way. Oh my god. That is a tiny. Tell me. You can't. There is no way. Even that, I don't think 12 children. Coming back into the main atrium, we're looking for the gift shops right now. There's the backside of Mickey, eighth wonder of the world. <laughs> Keep moving on down. <laughs> you got that joke. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for the gift shops right now. We're trying to do a little bit of pre-shopping right now just to see what they got. Just to eyeball things so that way we know what we want to get whenever the shops do open. Yeah, see the layout of the smaller ships is very similar to the larger ones, but still very different if that makes any sense. Now we have the more expensive stuff over here at White Caps. We're gonna come over here and take a look and just kind of take a quick glance and see what they got 
I like these these little sundresses over here. They're kind of cute. Huh. Let's move a little bit further down. There's one particular item that I'm looking for, and that's a little model ship. That's what I'm looking for, a model ship. But I'm not seeing it right now. Oh, I kind of like that throw pillow. Looks really nice. I'm sure it's kind of expensive, but that's a nice looking pillow. I like the long sleeve over there as well. But I'm not seeing the model ship that I want, and I'm kind of sad. I see the ships, they're right there. The very back wall. They're, they're, they're right, where's my finger? There it is, uh, kind of right there. I know it's hard to make it on the camera, but they're there. I see them. <laughs> my preciouses, my precious. I must have zeus. Which, by the way, in case you guys are curious, here are the operating hours for the different stores. Bless you. For Miami, it opens up at six o'clock today in the middle of dinner service. So hopefully, they'll have the ships still by the time we're done with dinner. Castaway Key, 5.30, 9.30, 5.36, and then closed. <laughs> okay, say that again. You know, people, like, screw over by just taking the keys. This is yours, and this is theirs. <laughs> okay, Grinch. <laughs> and this is his note, this is her note, his note, his. And for the rest of you, <laughs> jury duty, jury duty, jury duty, blackmail, pink slip, eviction notice. What is this? We got a note? What does the note say? Okay. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> We are thrilled to have you sailing with us again. Gold Castle, remember we're excited to share with you benefits. Welcome back aboard gift, exclusive merchandise. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm gold, I'm special. <laughs> You'll get there one day. All right, tradition. Send us into the room. Have you ever been on a Disney cruise and lost your stateroom? You know more or less where it is, but you just can't seem to remember the number? Well, thanks to today's video sponsor, you can kiss those days goodbye. Magical Day Creations is your one-stop shop for everything you need to customize your Disney World or Disney Cruise Line vacation. Magical Day Creations can help you make custom door magnets for your next Disney Cruise Line vacation so you and your family never lose your door again. There are plenty of customization options to choose from on MagicalDayCreations.com, guaranteed to satisfy any member of the family. And speaking of customization, Magical Day Creations has come out with some brand new customizable charms to attach to your Disney Resort mugs so you never have to question which mug is yours again. Add some pixie dust to your next Disney vacation and visit MagicalDayCreations.com today. Be sure to use code TPX10 at checkout to get 10% off your next order to let them know that we sent you. Again, that's code TPX10 for 10% off your next order. Thank you so much to Magical Day Creations for once again sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to the cruise vlog. There's our Castaway Club gift right there. And here we are. Nice little room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and do a quick room tour. This is room 6580. As soon as you walk in the room, on the left side over here, you have the toilet room. This is its own room, so just a toilet by itself. We have a sink over here and some shelves over here as well. We have a little hair dryer right here. Nothing too special. And then over here, right next door, we have our shower room. We have another sink over here, it's a waste basket, nice big mirror, hello, how y'all doing? And we have a shower space over here, nice big tub, enough for Coda to at least sit down in there if she wanted to. On the opposite side of the bathrooms, we do have our closet space over here, plenty of hangers. We have our life jackets up there as well. Going to go ahead and close that, open up this other one. We have a safe in here, a couple of other little storage spaces, some more hangers, and some more life jackets. Plenty of room to store luggages if that is where you want them. We have some glasses over here. We have a picture of Mr. Walt and Mrs. Lillian Disney. We have some more storage spaces over here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And these are single drawers over here, and another double. We have a nice big bed over here, nice bed runner with some emergency information over here as well. We have our nightstands over here with lights, another full body mirror. The room does not come with Coda, sorry. <laughs> some more storage space over here, more drawers, some cabinets. On the other side of the bed, we have a picture frame over here, a dream is a wish your heart makes. And this actually pulls down into a pull-out bed. So in case you have another person in here, you are able to do that. There is no bunk bed in here, I will say that. So it looks like this room only accommodates three people, two on the bed and one over here. And then we have a desk space over here with a chair, some more storage space over here. Looks like this is our mini fridge. Yep, mini fridge. Standard Disney Cruise Line TV, 
nothing super special. We have some more storage space up here. Nice big mirror. And finally, the piece de resistance, the balcony. Nice balcony space. We are on the starboard side, which means that the front of the ship is that way, back of the ship is that way. So when we dock at Castaway Key, we will have a nice view of the island from this balcony. And we always try to book starboard side, if at all possible, whenever we go on a Disney cruise vacation. And take a look at that, guys beautiful view of the Miami skyline. I have actually never really been to Miami before. I've flown into MIA and I've left from there, but I've never actually like seen Miami City. This is actually my first time looking at it and this is insane. Miami's really nice. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit crazy. The traffic is absolutely insane, but this is nice. Now, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that the Disney Magic is actually the very first Disney Cruise Line ship to actually enter service. This is the oldest one. I think this one came out in 98 or 99. You guys can correct me down in the comments section below because I know there's a lot of you guys out there that know that information. Yes, babe? Remember Disney Cruise Line trivia and how you said you'd kill it? It was theme park trivia that I said I would kill. <laughs> I would definitely own theme park trivia, but not... Disney Cruise Line trivia. Anyways, um, <laughs> anyways, um, at first glance, you know, looking around the room, everything seems really nice and really well put together. But if you get down and look closer at some of the things, you can definitely see the age of the ship and the staterooms that are on it. It's been a little while since it's gone under an extensive refurb. So just some of the things that I noticed just after, you know, looking a little bit closer at things. It's very easy to see in the camera. There's a couple dents in the wall over here, which I know isn't exactly the cruise line's fault. That's probably some dummy who decided to headbutt the wall, but it is noticeable. You also got a bunch of different little holes in the wall. It seems pretty random. It looks like there should be another kind of painting or something over here, but it's not. You can see a little bit of the dinginess on the door handles. You can see some of the discoloration of the wood up here when it meets the door. You can see down here some of the damage and some of the rough paint work by the shower. It's not super noticeable at first, but once you see it, you can't unsee it. You can see some slight discoloration in the metal over here by the little lamp on the desk. So yeah, I'm not going to go through and absolutely tear this room apart looking for things to nitpick. It's just things that I've noticed as I'm just walking around the room and kind of taking a look at things. There is a significant difference in the quality of rooms between the older ships, which is the Magic and the Wonder, and the newer ships. Just immediate first observations and I think it's something that you guys deserve to know. All right, so it's about 2.26 and we just got our first bag delivered to the room and this is the bag with the majority of our clothes. So that's really good to see. Hopefully our second bag doesn't take too much longer. All right guys, we're about to do something a little bit dangerous. <laughs> We have been up since 4.30 this morning, and we are very tired. We didn't go to bed until after midnight last night, closer to 12.30, and we got up at 4.30. We're going to take a nap. <laughs> We're going to take a little bit of a snooze, a wee snooze, and it's only going to be for an hour. It's 12.20, or 12.20, it's 2.20 right now, and we're going to set a timer for an hour, and hopefully we wake up or else we're going to be in big trouble. <laughs> hopefully we wake up in an hour. The sail away party is at 4.30, so um, even even if, even if with us getting up at 3.30, we'll have an hour to get ready until the sail away party, which is the next most interesting thing to happen. But other than that, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a nap for an hour, and I will see you guys when we wake up, hopefully, in an hour. Babe, are you confident that we can get up in an hour? No. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, see you guys in a little bit. One hour later. All right, well, that hour-long nap was an absolute success. We did sleep over just a little bit. We had an alarm set for 3.30 and for 3.45, and then we have another one set for 4 o'clock, just in case we didn't wake up. That 3.30 alarm went off, and we're like... 10 more minutes or it ended up being 15 but it's fine it's 345 right now well actually 353 right now according to our stateroom tv we're up we're getting dressed and we are going to be heading upstairs to experience the sail away deck party i have my tripod here we're going to be recording the whole thing it's going to be so much fun but i'm just happy that we were actually able to take that nap i feel so much better well i mean kind of the nap was really good don't get me wrong i slept real well but um still feel that same level of tired it's not gonna be a very late night for us guys i promise you that 
but I'm very excited for the rest of the evening on the Disney Magic. Let's go ahead and get dressed once again and head on upstairs and sail away from Miami. All right, we are dressed once again and ready to go up to the top deck for the first ever sail away party that Coda has experienced and personally first one I've ever experienced too. This is the second <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> this is the second Disney Magic Cruise to experience a sail a wave party since the restart of cruising. I'm very excited for this. Finally made it up to the top deck and we are in our spots for the sail a wave party which is going to be happening right here in front of us. This deck space, again, I'm going to keep comparing it to the Dream. It's so much smaller. <laughs> I know, it's so tiny, <laughs> but I love it. There's a, there's a charm about it. <laughs> You're just like, yeah, no, no, there's not. <laughs> I think there's a little bit of a charm to it. That guys, we are officially sailing away. So long, Miami.
right and with that we are leaving miami and heading out to open water goodbye florida hello bahamas before we head on down to the stateroom to get ready for dinner i just want to show you guys a quick look at the adults only area you can see a nice big pool and a couple whirlpools over here we have signals bar right there really nice i like this adult area now that the sail wave party is over it's a lot quieter out here on the midship pool this is basically the family pool this opens up into a massive pool and they can close it up for stage use that's awesome but yeah so much quieter out here a lot less people this is definitely not a problem that you have on the bigger ships but they tell you to watch your head as you're going down the stairs so uh tell people beware if you're going down the stairs a few days before returning he was sitting out back in the rock is that what you've been up to lately <laughs> you and everyone else. <laughs> All right, repoils, repoils. Wow. <laughs> Her parents are Frederick and Ariana. Yeah. Rapunzel's parents are named King Frederick and Queen Ariana. I don't know if they ever mentioned that in the movie, but it's. I feel like that's a TV show thing. It possibly is, you know. But it's good to know. Fun knowledge. <laughs> All right, so for our appetizers, we have a prosciutto mozzarella and tomato bruschetta. We have smoked salmon carpaccio, fried spiced calamari, and a chicken bastella. For soups and salads, we have a clam chowder. Oh, goodness. We have a couscous salad, chilled mango and papaya soup, arugula and baby spinach salad. For bread service, we have freshly baked carrot and scallions loaf. For main courses, we have a penne arrabbiata. I think that's how you pronounce it. We have a pan-seared halibut a mesquite grilled chicken breast, pork tenderloin wellington, and a grilled strip loin. We also have a few vegetarian options as well, which is a spinach sweet potato and lentil dal, and a pacheri pasta. Okay, so slight bit of misinformation on my part. I thought that the, you know, Tangled show and everything was going to be tonight at the restaurant where we celebrate Rapunzel's birthday. It is not tonight, it's tomorrow night. We do have Rapunzel's Royal Table two nights in a row. So it's tonight and tomorrow night. And then we're at Lumiere's. Is it Lumiere's on this ship? I think it's Lumiere's on this ship, the third night for Pirate Night. And then we have Lumiere's again for the regular night. And then the very last night, we're at Animator's Palette. So just a regular standard menu tonight here at Rapunzel's Royal Table. And then tomorrow, it is all Tangled themes. All right, I'm so sorry for all the lines that are on the screen. The lighting in here is just really wonky with the camera. But we have the calamari to start off with over here. And then Coda. What did you get? The bruschetta? That looks really good. Wow. I'm impressed. Yeah, mine smells amazing. And next up, we have the clam chowder. Oh my gosh. I love clam chowder, so I'm hoping that this is good. All right, so I had to change the frame rate of the camera and drop it down to 29 in order to avoid all the lines on the table. But now look, everything looks so much clearer now. Now you can clearly see the food without stripes all over the screen. Okay, so I'm finished up with my clam chowder, and I'm not finishing it. It's not bad, but it's definitely not the best clam chowder I've ever had either. Definite lack of clam. I've definitely had a bit more bacon than anything in this clam chowder. I think I only had like one or two little bits and pieces of clam or like any kind of seafood that I was, you know, telling. But it's not terrible but it's also not the best either. All right, our main courses have arrived. I got two of them. Not gonna be eating the entire thing, that's for sure. I just wanted to sample it. So first up, we have the grilled strip loin, which is a strip loin with cheddar cheese and onion, smashed baked potato, roasted green asparagus, tomato, and a red wine juice. And over here, we have a pork tenderloin wellington, which is a pork tenderloin wrapped in mushroom duck cell, a crepe and puff pastry with gratin potatoes, with roasted baby vegetables and rich Bordeaux wine sauce. Now that I've had a chance to kind of pick up both dishes, I want to say, this dish, a lot better than that one. The tenderloin, in my opinion, really dry, bland, flavorless. It just was not good. The crepe puff pastry outside had more flavor than the actual uh, tenderloin, and I just didn't really care for it much at all. 
you gratin potatoes, they were okay, but not my favorite. This dish, 100 times better. Steak cooked real well, seasoned real well. It has flavor, and the potatoes, the cheddar potatoes were so good. So yeah, I would definitely get this over the Wellington. Don't waste your time with this one. And for dessert, we have the Kahlua Creme Brulee with cinnamon shortbread cookies. I don't really know what to expect with this. I've never had a Kahlua Creme Brulee. I mean, I like Creme Brulee in general, so we'll try it out and see how I like it. Well, um, yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Um, it's very, very much so a coffee Creme Brulee, and I should have known better. I didn't know that Kahlua meant coffee, so that's on me, but um, yeah, I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't, I don't care much for coffee. If I do have coffee, it's in very, very minimal amounts, in like a frappuccino or something. But yeah, this is not for me. Okay, so this is really good information to know that all the restaurants here on the very first night are doing the same menu. All the restaurants are serving the same thing. So I didn't care too much for the dessert over here. So I asked, I said, hey, can I just get a souffle from Lumiere's? They're not serving souffle at Lumiere's tonight. Tomorrow is when they do the rotational dining and they have the different menus. So it's really good stuff to know. I had, I honestly had no idea that all the restaurants did the same thing on the first night. It's the welcome aboard menu. Who knew? All right, so I forgot to film it before I actually took a bite out of it. They took away the creme brulee and they substituted it with the fig pudding. And oh my God, a hundred times better. I love it. It's really, really good. Holy cow, definitely get this. All right, the welcome aboard dinner at Rapunzel's was an absolute success. I mean, yeah, granted, I didn't care too much for the for the Wellington, but you know what? That's a one-off thing, and every restaurant has that, so not everything's gonna be perfect. That's just how it is. But we are gonna go ahead and head on out. We're gonna meet Coda at guest services and then do a little bit of shopping. The seas are definitely a little bit rocky this evening. We're feeling it for sure. The ship is not staying level. You guys can see we're not far away from Miami at all. We're just moving very, very slowly. Making our way into the main atrium for the evening and yeah, things are definitely a little bit claustrophobic. You can see Pluto is out right now meeting guests. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't think hugs are happening right now. You can get super close though. Yeah, I don't think hugs are available right now, which I thought they were. Disney said that they were coming back on the 18th, but they still haven't yet, and I'm still kind of bummed about that. All right, it is time to collect my precious. Give me the boat. All right, Coda, so I don't know about you, but it's rather claustrophobic in here, and I think I want to go back to the room for a little bit. Oh, look at that. We have the ship over here as well. It's just perfectly out of view. I mean... <laughs> to be <laughs> to be fair, it was out of view from where we could see it. But yeah, this is the model ship that I am picking up. I'm trying to collect them all. So I'm definitely going to be <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be collecting them from the wonder whenever I set sail on that and the uh, wish. Hopefully they have a model of the wish. So yeah, as you guys can see, everyone knows that you need to get your shopping done first. If there's anything special that you absolutely have to have, you gotta get it on your first night. Coda, you good? They have the Simba popcorn bucket. Do you need the Simba popcorn bucket? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> All right. Is there anything you need from in here? All right. So I can't exactly promise that I'm going to be using the stairs everywhere I go, but for most of the cruise, we will be using the stairs. Just not all the time. Can't promise that. I tell you guys what, the little Star Trek has helped me out so much. It is very easy to get confused which side of the ship you're on. So if you look at the stars, they always point forward. So if you know which side of the ship you're on relative to forward or aft, should be good to go. Take a look at that. Just got back to the room, and there's a crab on the bed. <laughs> the bed's got crabs. <laughs> got a little chocolates on there as well. Alrighty, after we did a little bit of shopping, we had some time left over. We went back to the room, relaxed for a little bit, we changed our clothes, we refreshed ourselves, and now it is time to head on downstairs to the Walt Disney Theater to check out Tangled. <laughs>
time to head on inside the Walt Disney Theater. Another thing that's really cool to see now is that Preludes is back open, so you can now purchase popcorn and popcorn buckets prior to the show, and you can bring it in. They also have alcohol over here as well. They have different specialty popcorns and sodas. Holy cow. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> So we have popcorn over here for $3.50. We have popcorn with a bucket at $7.50 with refills only being $1.50. We have a popcorn and Coke beverage combo and a refreshing Coke beverage. I think that says $2. And these are the different popcorn buckets that you can get. Cinderella's Coach, you have Simba, and an Avengers bucket. Another thing they also have is some M&Ms, Twix, Kit Kats, and Snickers. All right, we ended up with the Avengers popcorn bucket. It was $7.50, and then we also got a little thing of water right now. I wouldn't say it's a bottle of water. It's more like a can of water. How would you describe this? It's aluminum. <laughs> this is so nice. It's honestly been a long time since I've been in a theater this small. You see, we got Tangled up there as well. Because we are on a smaller ship, there is no mezzanine level, so this is all on deck four. No mezzanine level up here. So make sure you guys do get here early to secure a good seat. Alright, so back in the room after watching Tangled, what did you think of the show? It was cute. Um, Mother Gothel was cast. Yeah, that was that was superb <laughs> casting for Mother Gothel. The singing was superb. It was really well done. It was cute though. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. It was it was really nice. I could tell that the pacing kinda was it, I don't know if it like dragged on or if it just wasn't paced real well because you could tell that some of the kids were getting antsy in some of the parts that some of the slower parts where there wasn't really anything happening like the kid behind us he was getting a little antsy and a couple other kids started getting antsy you could tell just people were just not really into a couple of the parts that were just really slow but that's the movie you know they're translating the movie into a show there's gonna be those slow parts but it was still really well done. I really liked it. Um, no Pascal, unfortunately. You know, there's not too much... The, the chameleon on stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have it be seen. <laughs> there's not too much you can do about there's a live-action chameleon. I swear to God, he's a chameleon. Iguana. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, it was still a really nice show. If you're a fan of Tangled, the movie, then you're definitely going to love the show. I had no complaints about it. It was absolutely phenomenal. So, the night isn't over yet. We we have hopefully a super secret surprise that we can show you guys in just a little bit. It's probably going to be the next clip. We're going to go down to the lobby and show you guys that. And then um, maybe walk around the upper deck for a little bit and get some ice cream and then come back to the room. Maybe order room service and then go to bed. <laughs> tomorrow is our Castaway Key Day. Um, but we'll get into more of that later and what our plans are for tomorrow. But for now, let's go ahead and head on downstairs to the atrium and see if the surprise is actually waiting for us. And this is the surprise. Oh my God. Yes. This is what we were looking forward to. Everyone, meet Sully. Yeah. 
picture? Can I have it? Thank you. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Hi. Best Disney cruise ever. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, throw it. <laughs> Here, I'll take it. Nope. <laughs> I remember at one point. Literally the best Disney cruise ever. <laughs> we get to play with the dog. Look at you. You're such a good boy. Sully is so spoiled. They brought him out steak. And they've been giving him steak like every night, apparently. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bye, Sully. Until tomorrow night. We shall meet again. And here is a quick service location that is open until midnight every night of our voyage. Pinocchio's Pizzeria. Let's go ahead and see what they got. May I have two slices of pepperoni, please? Thank you. And we caught the ice cream just in time. They're open for just a few more minutes. We're gonna go ahead and get some vanilla. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Another thing that throws me off is that the ceilings are a lot lower on this deck than on the Dream as well. I definitely feel a little bit taller, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's also, you know, the ceilings are lower. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, day one is in the books. That is going to do it from us here on Embarkation Day on the Disney Magic on our five-night voyage. Tomorrow we are at Castaway Key. We have a lot of fun things planned for tomorrow, so I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and ring that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video like this in the future. We have a lot more Disney Cruise Line content heading your way, guys, so make sure you guys are prepared. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.